Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Phil Rodin. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. But honestly, I, I didn't want to review this one. I really don't. Because, to be blunt with you, it's not very good. No, it's, it's not very good. But I'm going to do it because this is my Disney a thon. And it's my to-do list. I just want to get this off my to-do list. So let me just scratch it out here, folks. There we go. All right, that's one off the list. So the film I'm going to be viewing is the one titled Hunchback of Notre Dame 2. Yep, you heard me right, folks. They actually made a sequel. Why did they make a sequel exactly? Uh, okay. So, anyway, folks, as always, I have to talk about the plot. So, let's just get this over with, shall we? So, just like the original film, this takes place at a certain time, a certain period of time, because the sequel is set. In 1488, seven years after the events of the original film. So, yeah, we're good to see this captain who serves as Paris captain of the guard under the new Minister of Justice, I guess. And yeah, we're good to see the old faces in this film. No, uh, has been married and became the parent of a six year old son, and yeah, that's a thing going on with with her. Wait, wait, she never expressed having a family in the original film, so why is that a thing in this film? <laughs> okay, whatever. So, what about our main character? Does he have anything? Well, of course, you know, he's gonna hook up with somebody. The story will focus on the fact that our main character here will have a lady friend. Yep. Uh, because he was not in a relationship in the previous movie? That's why? Uh, whatever, yes. The character will introduce a new one, like I was saying. And yeah, he's the bad guy. Yeah, he's supposed to be like some sort of ruler or what have you. I was saying earlier, and he's doing bad things because... I don't know. Yeah. Lacking character growth is one of the many, many problems I had with this film. So, there's not much of a story story really if anything this the story feels downplayed compared to the original when you're making a sequel you're supposed to make things seem more bigger more grander this one does the exact opposite it makes the um, the adventure seem a lot smaller <sighs> the son i was talking about earlier folks it does take quite a bit of screen time in this movie i actually found him pretty annoying Mostly because he doesn't really amount to anything. Matter of fact, nothing of the characters' actions, nothing what they do, amounts to anything. This entire sequel is pointless. Guessing they're trying to make this film seem a bit more charming by having a kid in this movie. The animation does seem like a downgrade. This is a direct-to-video sequel, so. Yeah, that, that doesn't make any sense. The original film was released in theaters, but this one went straight to DVD. That's bad, that's bad marketing. I know most, the vast majority of Disney sequels goes to straight to DVD, which again does not make any sense. And you can tell that everything feels downgraded. I mean everything. The voice acting isn't isn't where it should be. And overall, this it was just bland. It's not the worst 
thing I've seen, I've seen Fall Wars. When it comes to Wars, the sequels, I have to say Cinderella 2 Dreams Come True have to be the worst sequel that Disney had ever produced. When it comes to bad, bad sequels, Cinderella 2 is still at number 1 when it comes to really bad sequels. So I guess at least this movie is not that. I guess. But that that still doesn't save this movie, really. That still does not save this movie because it's just okay. This film is just incredibly mediocre. Very mediocre. I mean, I, I guess it would entertain the kids. I suppose you just pop this in there and just they watch it. I forget about it later, I guess. I want to forget about it because there's nothing memorable. It's very a very forgettable animated film. I guess it's just safe. It's very safe, and they play it safe. They didn't take any risks at all. This has to be one of the most pointless sequels ever because it adds nothing to the original film. Because when you're making a sequel, you're supposed to make sure that there is something of value can attach to the original. This one does no such thing. The writing, the writing, the dialogue is not very good either. I mean, granted, I was not expecting Shakespeare or anything, but still, folks, no, no excuses. I like Disney, don't get me wrong. I do like Disney. That's one of the reasons as to why I'm doing this. But just because I like Disney does not mean they should be avoided of all criticism. So, yeah, no. Don't make another one of this. Don't make another sequel. I'll stick with the original film. Because you can watch this once, and by the end of the week, you're going to forget about it. It's going to act as if this never happened anyway. So, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 5.1 out of 10. It's a 5.1 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya, oh yeah.